uh, Ms. Catherine Wyatt Morley. Uh, Ms. Morley is the executive director of the program WOMEN and uh, AIDS. And of course, uh, Ms. Morley, let me uh, uh, sort of correct that because I think we thought about a show that we did not long ago, WOMEN and AIDS with you. Right. And of course, what we'd like to do this morning is to uh, continue. Mm -hmm. our discussion in reference to this disease, yes. but to uh, sort of focus up on uh, one of the uh, real hot spots in terms of this disease, and that is the uh, continent of Africa. Absolutely. But before we get into that, uh, Mrs. White Morley, let's have you to talk about your uh, information about your background and some of the things that were important in terms of leading you to the establishment of an organization, W-O-M-E-N, dealing with that question, and then we'll have an opportunity to talk about AIDS in Africa. Well, thank you for that uh, introduction. I appreciate mm -hmm. it, and, and I am very pleased mm -hmm. to be back on your program. Mm -hmm. uh, as you know, I am uh, a person living with a disease. I was mm -hmm. diagnosed in 1994, mm -hmm. and when I was first diagnosed, there were limited resources available mm -hmm. to me as an African-American female in the Metro Davidson County and surrounding areas. Mm -hmm. So uh, out of the need for fellowship and out of the need to, to mm -hmm. uh, have programs that would address me as a mother, those issues, mm -hmm. I created the organization Women on Maintaining Education mm -hmm. and Nutrition, mm -hmm. which gives you the acronym WOMEN, mm -hmm. and we are known in the community by that acronym. Mm -hmm. We have several programs that we now establish. Mm -hmm. on av we have a program, for example, called the Full Plate Program. Mm -hmm. And on average, we, we disseminate approximately 2,500 pounds of food per month. Mm -hmm. Goes out our doors to infected individuals mm -hmm. in the Metro Davidson County area that are in great need. There is a tremendous need mm -hmm. in the Nashville area for programs, mm -hmm. for support, for services. We also have a housing program where we call Circle of Life, mm -hmm. where we help people with mm -hmm. the disease who have limited resources. As you know, the majority have so many limited mm -hmm. resources. We help them with housing. We help them with uh, electricity and utility mm -hmm. bills. We help them with transportation, those types of things. We find nutrition to be an extremely important mm -hmm. component mm -hmm. for people living with the disease, trying to get them uh, the proper nutrition and, and those things. Mm -hmm. uh, also keeping people connected with medications. Mm -hmm. We have a program called the MOMS program, which is mm -hmm. an acronym for Medicine on the Move, which allows for our clients to have access, or anyone, you do not have to be HIV mm -hmm. positive to be a part of that program, anyone that is on any forms of medication, mm -hmm. which we link them with a direct pharmacy, and that pharmacy mm -hmm. helps them to maneuver through medications, getting mm -hmm. them, have mm -hmm. them delivered right to their homes. So we have a lot of outstanding programs, but it was very difficult getting to where we are today. Mm -hmm. But I am very, very happy to report that we are growing. Mm -hmm. uh, our support is tremendous. We're very, very pleased with the, with the support from the community. Mm -hmm. But we also need much, much help because our clientele also is, is growing mm -hmm. and getting larger and larger rates of infection within women in the state of Tennessee mm -hmm. have disproportionately impacted our economy in the state of Tennessee. Mm -hmm. uh, African American women have the highest rates of infection in the state of Tennessee. Mm -hmm. I just came from a uh, retreat with the, the state mm -hmm. and uh, along with myself and some other community-based mm -hmm. organizations put together the plan for the state of Tennessee mm -hmm. for the next years to come, uh, mm -hmm. HIV prevention plan. Mm -hmm. And the uh, epidemiology clearly stated that African-American women hold the highest rates of mm -hmm. infection. Mm -hmm. And so it's a real problem here in uh, the uh, United States. Yes, and it is. in Tennessee yes. as well. Yes. And now, uh, compared yes. to... Uh, uh, the information that you gave us the last time that you were here, do you think that uh, the, is the uh, situation has become worse in the state of Tennessee since you were here? That was uh, maybe a year or so ago. Uh, has it become much worse? Uh, uh, is it better or what? Uh, I, I believe it, it is progressively getting worse. Uh -huh. uh, funding is not increasing. Uh, the dollars are not being uh, put to uh, mm -hmm. to use as need be. Mm -hmm. um, uh, there, there are so many things, and the education mm -hmm. is not made readily available. Mm -hmm. So oftentimes we believe that everyone, we take mm -hmm. for granted that everyone knows about HIV, mm -hmm. but everyone doesn't know. Uh, our high school students are still being highly impacted, mm -hmm. and rates of infection are extremely high in, mm -hmm. in the age groups between 20 and 30. Mm -hmm. Well, when, when AIDS is that high for those rates, you have to think when did they become HIV 
be positive mm -hmm. and that is happening in the high school mm -hmm. and and first years of freshman mm -hmm. uh, university and, and college those kids are not being impacted like they should so mm -hmm. in my opinion rates of infection continue to rise not only mm -hmm. in HIV but also with sexually transmitted diseases mm -hmm. uh, syphilis gonorrhea chlamydia those rates of infection mm -hmm. continue to rise so yes I would say that that we're getting worse and not better very good and of course let us take this first commercial break after which we'll come back and <clears throat> we'll give you an opportunity to talk about AIDS okay. uh, and other aspects and we'll be back with our audience following this very very short commercial break Catherine White Morley 